what am I doing this for? Why do I have this amount of followers? But the engagement just isn't there anymore. Obviously in total, if I'd done this earlier, I, I would, probably would have cleaned out 40,000 people. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're joining myself, Jason Pizzino, on my channel on YouTube, Jason Pizzino. If you're new here, remember to hit subscribe, like the video, comment down below. It helps the channel out a lot, as you can probably appreciate. Today's video is slightly different to what I normally put out, but it's along the same path of the self-development. And I have been talking a lot recently about digital minimalism and a digital cleanse, essentially. So what I'm gonna talk about here is uh, Instagram. Uh, I had many, many thousands of followers on Instagram at one point, somewhere around 47,000 followers. You can check that out on socialblade.com. And over the time, that was around 2016, and over the, the years, a couple of years after that, it started dropping because I had just stopped putting out as much content. It was really just starting to get on me that I had to keep producing and producing and producing just to keep the numbers up. So I took a little break, those numbers dropped. I found myself two years later, which is where we are, January, you know, it was January 2019, February 2019, now it's March 2019. I was down around 32,000 and there was no climbing in the numbers. And I looked at this and thought, what is the point of having such a high number of account, a follower count on my Instagram if I'm not connecting with people? Like the point I, the reason why I started Instagram was that I was wanting to connect with people. And that's how I grew so quickly uh, in the early stages. And then from that, I found a bit of a rhythm. Uh, you know, I had built up an account of sort of a travel vegan couple relationship thing with my ex. That thing took off as well. But then I felt like I'd lost my way on that. So I thought, what am I doing this for? Why do I have this amount of followers? But the engagement just isn't there anymore. My message has changed a couple of times, but I feel like I'm you know, moving back to uh, sort of where the message started from. You know, it was the health, the active lifestyle, the thinking outside the square, self-development, you know, just trying to put these actionable processes in place so that I can better my life and in turn hopefully attract people like yourselves who are watching this or who are on my Instagram who are also bettering their lives and can offer their advice and their information as well, you know, sort of grow from that. I never really liked the showy accounts. Obviously, I, you know, I might follow a few here and there, but for me to build something, I, I didn't like the showy stuff where it was just all based on likes, you know, tits and ass or Lambos or, you know, people holding wads of cash, I don't know, traveling in helicopters, all that sort of crap. Or, or just like the full on travel accounts that kind of, it, it's boring to me because I don't really feel the substance. I don't see the substance. I don't connect. So that's where I got to. My account was dropping down. You know, I was around 32,000 and I thought, what, what is the point? And what did I want to go back to? I wanted to go back to connection and engagement. And I talked to a few people and they were saying, and I kind of, you know, knew it from watching videos and whatnot that if you got the ratio down, now this is in theory and hopefully it works out, if you got your ratio, uh, a better ratio, meaning more likes and comments to the followers that you have, Instagram looks at that, uh, that you know, those metrics and boosts you a little bit more in the algorithm. And I want to connect with people again and I don't care if my account's a million, which will never be, but you know, 500,000, 200,000, whatever it is, that's not the problem, the, the point. I want to have an active, engaged audience. So even if I'm only at 10,000 followers again, but I have a thousand active people following me, that to me means far more than having 100,000 followers and only you know 100 engaging with me. So with that in mind, I took actionable steps to reduce my amount of followers. So I had to get rid of, in the end, it was close to 28,000, maybe close to 30,000. Obviously, in total, if I'd done this earlier, I would, probably would have cleaned out 40,000 people. But that's where we sat around February 2019. It was around 32,500 followers. And I mean, to try and try and reduce the amount of followers I had would have been a massive process if I was to go through each individual one. I found an app called Mass Unfollow. I'm not sponsored by them. If they want to sponsor me, great. Shoot me some money, that'll be good. Yeah, I found this app. I thought I'd give it a go. 
it didn't cost anything, it was free, but you need to pay for the, like, the coins or something, you know, for each block is like one coin, uh, but you can watch ads to get more coins, and for the majority of people that's probably going to be fine, you know, if you just want to remove a hundred or a thousand or whatever, it sort of builds up pretty quickly. But I, I paid the $1.99 US to get unlimited, so then I could just go through and delete or, you know, get the app to block as many people as it could. So once I, once that happened, oh, I'll explain that process briefly, but you can also see all of this on my Instagram account under the highlights hacked. Go in the app, select how you want to, um, like, sort the people who are following you. I thought ghost followers would probably be the, the best way because some people have inactive accounts, but they're like they don't post on them that's that's what is classes inactive from the app from what i you know how they wrote their little blurb so some people don't post and then they post for six months or 12 months but they're still actively following you they're like they're interested in actually consuming on instagram rather than uh, producing content so i thought i'd go with the ghost meaning they don't even they don't like they don't comment they don't do anything on your account. They might post themselves, but they just they have no interest in your account, or they've just stopped seeing your account because you know it's just sort of dropped to the bottom of the list, and they don't look at it, you know, all the way, scroll all the way to the bottom to see what the the newest posts were. So I went with the ghost. I started with people who hadn't engaged in my last 100 posts, and at that time in February, I think 100 posts took me right back to mid to early of 2018 so that's a good span of maybe eight months or so so i thought if they haven't engaged in my content in eight months that's sweet they can be blocked that's the only way you can do it with the app uh, be blocked be taken off my follower account and at a later point i'll unblock all of these people so they can all see it see my account again if they want to follow so i went through that process the app is really cool because it only blocks a certain number of people every 10 minutes, five minutes. I think that has something to do with the Instagram algorithm, their, their end, finding uh, to like decide whether you're a bot or not. So the app itself will block 80 people. I think it blocks about 100 people per 10 minutes. But you have to have the app on. You have to have your phone on. So I have this thing plugged in. So I'm trying to block 28,000 followers and the app is left, I leave the app on. So at this point I've got unlimited coins so I can block as many people as I want. The app will only block about 80 per 10 minutes because it does 100 but once it blocks 80 it stops for a moment. Then it counts, has a countdown of five minutes and then tries to block another 80 but it, you know, it doesn't get to that point. It just blocks 20 and then it'll stop. It's all sweet, I never got, I never got banned or caught by any sort of Instagram bot and then I would leave my phone on overnight plugged in on the screen of the app itself so that it could continue doing its work and obviously if you do the maths say 80 every 10 minutes it's only about what eight sixes because there's 60 lots of 10 in, in an hour 480 say 450 people that could block every hour I had that on several hours of the night this took several days for it to go through. Once that had finished, I'd got my follower count down. I'd obviously let everyone know that this is what I was doing. So if you want to be engaged, you want to stick around on my account, go and like one of my posts, go and comment on them, keep that up so that you can stick with whatever it is I'm putting out there. So if you are looking to do that, that would definitely be something I would suggest to your audience. So far, we're at three, my, my Instagram account is around 3,400. And the engagement is about the same, if not a little bit more than where it was when I was around the 33,000, 32,000 mark. So there is that 30,000 that's dropped that I took off. The comments are still reasonably good. You know, the engagement's there. The likes, I'm getting around 5 to 10% now, which is a lot better than what it was at 1%. So I hope that that's going to improve over time for my Instagram. So yeah, if that's something that you had been looking at, I definitely suggest looking at the Mass Unfollow app and then going through that process, hit me up in the comments if you've got any other questions that you're not sort of understanding or how it's working. I may have done a botry job of trying to explain that, but there were a few processes 
along the way to try and get those numbers down. It's basically a free tool, unless you've got a really big account, so you want to get the unlimited coins. That was like three Aussie dollars, but two US dollars at the time. And uh, yeah, give it a go. See if it works for your Instagram following, your account. It just, it, it just feels so much lighter. It is really a digital cleanse, digital minimalism. I highly suggest it. It, I don't know, just, it just freed everything up so I can kind of start from another ground zero. You know, just from, from the base again and start to build a more native and organic, more connected audience to what I had last time. So yeah, that's my experience on deleting 30, blocking 30,000 people. One last thing, I did go through and unblock them all after I had blocked them because that's the way the app works. It can only block, it can't remove a follower of yours. It has to block, so I go through and unblock all of them. That was another process. It doesn't cost anything, easy to do. Within the app, that is. So do that, give it a go. Let me know how it works out for you guys. Digital minimalism, digital cleanse is something I highly recommend. If you haven't done one before, there's so many different ways to do it. Just, just come up with something. I'm gonna be off social media for a week. I'm gonna clean out my Facebook followers. I'm gonna clean out my Instagram followings, people who you actually follow rather than the followers. So many ways to do it. It just frees up your life. It seems weird because it's like a non-physical thing, but it does help you mentally and everything else. We, we kind of know that that's what's happening now. We're getting like so bogged down with digital content. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. I've said that so many times. Mass Unfollow is the app on Instagram. Remember to check me out on Instagram. See how it's all going over there. The, the experiment that is the digital cleanse and minimalism. And I'll see you at the next video. So until next time, you know what to do. Remember to share, like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, like it up, like it up. See you at the next video. Until then, take care. Peace out. Have more fun. Get more done.